Welcome back to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. Hey everybody, the Blue Heart Biker here. Hey, I just took possession of my new GoPro Hero 9. And I'm going to open it up and see what's in there and what it looks like. Let's check this thing out and see what it's all about. Alright, well let's open this box up here. Got it sealed up pretty good. I don't know why I just don't rip this box open, but for some reason, I think it would be a good idea if I tried to keep it intact. Okay. Well, I can... Oh, here we go. Nice little case. Okay, so looking at this thing, um, it is a little bigger than the than the Hero Seven. And like I said, I lost my other Hero Seven. I have no idea what happened to it. And I have no idea, it's just a piece of paper. I have no idea where it ended up or anything like that. I have no idea where it is. But anyways, there's the Hero 9. Uh, got a battery and unfortunately, these batteries are bigger than the ones in the Hero 7 from what I understand. So my Hero 7 batteries aren't gonna be working yeah, as you can see, boy, that's a lot bigger. Okay. All right, let's put, the, let's put the battery in. I think the battery goes here. Let's see here, how do we open that up? So I can push. Hmm. Like somehow. I pull down on it, and pull up on it like that. Okay, and there's where our battery goes, right there. Let's see if there's any juice in this battery. Is that it? Looks like it's fitting flush in there. Okay. Everything's on the opposite side. There it is. Okay, well, we'll set it up real fast here. English, legal stuff, I agree. You gotta go through this whole process here of opening up your GoPro app. All right, so what you have to do, and I cut all that part out of it because there was a lot of boring technicalities, but you have to register this thing with the on the GoPro app. You have to get it set up on the GoPro app before it'll work. And uh, so I did that, but it looks, uh, as you can see, there's the screen. Let's see how well the screen works. Right, and then it's got the front screen, so you can see yourself in your selfies. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty handy. And uh, of course, it's like all um, GoPros. It's quirky. 
I don't know whether I'm going to use it as my helmet camera or not because um, I don't have the, the audio um, set up properly. Uh, this thing, the audio interface is on the opposite side and my helmet is set up to um, be on this side. But another thing is, is that this doesn't fit the, um, the mount that uh, my helmet has for the... Uh, audio interface so but one cool thing is you don't need mounts anymore you got this so all my mounts are useless and then we got this little guy right here it's also you can stick this right on your helmet it's got the slide mount okay okay oh, let's see of course you never have too many of those you get this handy case that it come with here, so that's cool. All right, well, next thing to do is to see how it works. And uh, I'm going to figure all the features out on my own here, and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, well, I'm back here working on my helmet again. Um, I haven't had a chance to do much with the GoPros in the last couple of days. I've been busy doing other things, but in the meantime, I found my GoPro Hero 7 Silver. I found you! I found you! I found you! The one that I use on my handlebars. So, it's really not necessary for me to have a third GoPro, which is this one. It's my Hero 9, because I use my Hero 7 Black for my helmet camera. Now I'm gonna show you how my helmet camera is set up. Um, I may go ahead and try to use the Hero 9 on my helmet. I'm gonna take a little motorcycle ride today and uh, see how it works. Um, but my setup is basically this. Um, I've got a Ulanzi mount. Now it houses the audio interface. Now there is no audio jack on a Hero camera, so you've got to buy one of these gizmos from GoPro or someplace that sells GoPro stuff. I got this on Amazon. It costs about 40 bucks. And uh, I hear there are adapters and things and they're hit and miss whether they work or not. This thing always works. And it basically slides right in this gadget here. It slides right in the bottom of the mount so that you can plug your camera into it. And uh, one of the problems is, of course, this is larger, so it doesn't fit in my, in my mount. It does have its own cool little mount on the bottom so you don't need to take it in and out of this housing um, but the audio input or the USB input is on the wrong side so none of this is going to work right so I'm gonna have to figure something else out if I'm going to use this camera um, so this is my setup and this, as you can see, the audio interface, you just plug right into this audio interface and then that plugs into the GoPro. My camera fits in here, plugs in here just like that. Uh, I don't know about this mount. I do not know what kind of mount that is. I don't remember. Um, this over here is a safety device. It's got a little string on it. You mount it on the side of my helmet. It's got a little string that hooks to the to the uh, to the mount, so that if your camera falls off. That 3M tape doesn't hold forever, and I've got a little safety duct tape on there to hold that on. All right, so as you can see, I've got it all plugged in. This is my microphone. I bought this microphone on Amazon. Uh, it came two in a pack. It's a company called Power Dewise. 
easy vlogging microphones. So it came with this handy little bag. Two, you get two of them for fifteen dollars. It comes with a mic splitter, and uh, you you need to have an adapter if you're going to plug into the um, GoPro interface. Uh, unless you have a microphone that is what is called the tip ring sleeve plug, which is what this is, if you can see that. And that would be considered the tip. This little gizmo in the center is considered the ring, and the outside is considered the sleeve. And basically what this does is it sends the signal to two places. The tip goes one place and the sleeve goes to another, and the ring is or excuse me, the tip goes one place, the ring goes to another place, and the um, sleeve is your, your ground. So, these microphones have a tip ring ring sleeve, as you can see here. Tip ring ring sleeve, which is the tip, and if you could see, there are two rings and then the sleeve. So, that... Um, I, I don't know why they make the mic that way, but that will not work. That will not work in your GoPro interface. So the cool thing about the Power Dewise is it comes with that. It also comes with a, a microphone splitter, so you can use two microphones. I did have two microphones going in this thing. Uh, I had one that went on the inside um, where my Cinna, my Bluetooth Cinna is. Uh, the only problem is, is that when I'm not using the Cinna, which is quite a bit, you know, I haven't been using it very much on camera, um, is it makes the audio sound muddy. So I just took it out. And what I've done is it's very simple. I just tape the the wire from the microphone right along the side of my mount here. I went up underneath in the inside of my helmet, right underneath, and I used the clip. This comes with a little lavalier clip. I just used the clip, clip it on the inside of the helmet, and there it is. Out of the way, simple. Um, and you can see what this mic looks like. Pull the windscreen off for you. And that's the microphone. It's just a simple little lavalier mic. And it gets fairly decent, uh, fairly decent audio quality, I think, for $15 for two of them. So that's basically it. My bell helmet. And uh, this, I lost the, this has a funky cover that holds your camera in which I lost but when you've got it plugged in the camera can't fall out but that's my GoPro motor vlog setup so what I've got to do is I've got to take all this off and just put my camera on find another place to temporarily mount the uh, audio interface and we'll see what the GoPro 9 looks like on the road see what the quality is like Okay, well, next let's go ahead and hit the road. We're going to hit, get out on the Harley, we're going to get out on the soft tail, and we're going to ride a little bit, and we're going to see if uh, the GoPro 9 is all that it's cracked up to be. All right, let's check it out. All right, well, this is the uh, GoPro 9. Let's see how well it works here. See if we got audio. Hopefully we have audio. And I don't know how the angle is on this camera. But we'll check it out and see. I'm not so sure I'm going to use this GoPro 9 as my helmet camera. I think I'm going to use it for interviews. Because it's um, very cumbersome on my mount. I guess I could find another mount. One that's a little more friendly for the GoPro 9 but then I've got the audio issue to deal with so we'll see we'll see how this quality is down here on the banks of the beautiful San Joaquin River in Fresno California here 
I sure was a shame that I thought I'd lost my little GoPro Hero 7 Silver that I used for my handlebar camera, but uh, I found it. Problem with it was I had a good idea that I did have it at home, uh, but I I was out of town and I took it out of town and there was a good possibility that I could have completely lost it. So I think I'm gonna turn around up here and pull over off one of these outlets and uh, run this Hero 9 across some of this scenic stuff here and see just how much difference the Hero 9 is from the Hero 7. Oh, look at the size of those giant... You can't see them, but there's some giant carp down down at the bottom of the river down there. There's a... <laughs> one of them looks like it's about three and a half, four foot long. The carp or catfish? I imagine being that big, they're probably carp. Man, that's amazing. Wow. Now this is the mighty San Joaquin River. And this is the GoPro 9. I don't know whether you can see that giant fish down there. It's huge. Looks like there's a small fish next to it. Small meaning about a foot and a half, two foot long. Because that fish is at least three foot, three foot long. It's huge. That's a big buffalo carp probably. Looks like he's spawning. Wow, it's amazing. But this is beautiful Fresno County right here. That's Madera County on the other side actually. Well, this is Fresno County still. The other side of the river is Madera County. Really nice. And this is uh, Hero 9. I'm anxious to see what this is going to look like. Okay, this is the Hero 7 Silver. And we'll just see what kind of quality difference. I'm having all kinds of trouble today. My uh, Hero 7 Black that I usually use on my helmet and for recording, battery died and I forgot to bring another battery for it. So, we won't get a comparison with my regular camera, but we can get a comparison with this Hero Silver. Alright. Well, let's ride before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be 106 degrees today in Fresno. I'd like to be down there swimming in that water. All right, onward and upward, people. All right, everybody. Hey, I'm coming at you right now from the GoPro 9, and uh, I think that this is the one I'm going to use from now on when I do my intros, when I do interviews, and when I, you know, film still shots and stuff for the events. And uh, so this is going to be my interview camera, and I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to use uh, the other two cameras, the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the GoPro Hero 7 Silver uh, for my handlebar camera unless I figure out how to mount this camera a little bit better this camera did takes pretty good quality film so yeah, we will see what happens you know if it works don't fix it but you know we want to upgrade as well so with that being said I'm gonna wrap it up here today visit me every Tuesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time you can set your clock to it because I'm there every week and uh, got a lot of cool things coming up so don't forget to subscribe and if you like what I'm doing
give me that thumbs up it lets me know that you like my content and also hit the bell it'll let you know whenever I put up new content and leave your comments please comment often I love to hear from you all right well thanks a lot everybody check me out on Instagram too uh, at blue Heart biker thank you very much for watching take care of each other be cool have a good time always and uh, we are going to see you next time thanks a lot everybody